Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Monday, 15 April of Easter week. Liquidity is going to be a lot lower this week. A lot of people are going to be taking holidays. So you want to keep that in mind for your trading. Nothing really on the schedule today. We've got some Swiss stuff out. SNB deposits are always fun, especially for guys like us who live in, in Switzerland. We like to monitor our central bank who acts like a hedge fund. Um, see if they've been sneaking in some euros, trying to defend Euro Swiss down there at 112, 111.50. Uh, so we'll take a look at that just for curiosity's sake. It's not really a tradable uh, piece of news. Otherwise, not much going on out there. Turkey got slammed. Um, I wouldn't say slammed, but you know, it's just uh, it's down a percent overnight, which I guess is not a huge move for Turkey. But otherwise, as you can see, uh, nothing's really moved more than a tenth of a percent almost. You know. Um, very very quiet overnight very very lackluster uh, we're short Aussie and Kiwi looks okay but nothing really uh, nothing really amazing uh, Aussie did print down 63 but just meaningless meaningless punk here um, you know we're gonna have to move these stops now to break even and it didn't didn't really accelerate at the open. There was no bad news, um, so I mean it was it was a nice little uh, tactical trade at the close there on Friday. But now we've seen no follow through, so we're not going to marry this and, and uh, just put the stops at break even and see what happens. Euro not doing too much. Obviously, uh, ten point range, figure ten basically came off those highs, but. Here we are sort of still, I mean, at the top of the recent range, but dead smack in the middle of the range. So nothing really to do there in Euro cable. Volatility has been crushed since the extension of Brexit. Not too much to do in cable. You could argue that this little 50 level here could cause some harm. 130, 50. But again... Volatility collapsing. Nobody, many, many people have just stopped trading cable with all this Brexit. So who knows? Staying away from it. Dollar yen ticked off a tiny bit. Uh, no drama. This does smack of a turn, technically wise. This is the 240 chart. But again, very quiet. No reason to run in and jump in with this. Look at this average true range. Seven pips per hour. That is shocking. Wow. What else? Urien. Again, we had that merger. Uh, we had that merger flow on Friday, which jammed this thing higher. Uh, two tranches there up here through 60 and then again through uh, 126.40 we're hanging out at the highs looks like it may have turned kind of like the dollar yen chart but again no story this isn't a, a strong turn and, and volatility this low with volatility this low you know you could argue that risk currencies tend to float higher not float lower so let's take a look at stocks 12 2911 we talked about it uh friday about how it just it's so hard left hand side recently because things just float higher uh this remains the case we haven't made a new high from um from friday's high of 29 14 and three quarters but we are still floating here at the highs um, if you're gonna try and play the short side you have to play the stretch right so you today you might sell 29 22s um, and then just try and grab some pips on the short side the reason we're playing the short side is 
we're just waiting for the news. We're waiting for the band-aid to get ripped off or the dam to break. Um, we don't know what that news is going to be, but it's so incredibly stretched. And the world economy is, is you know, we could go into this ad nauseum, the macro story, and also evaluation story. If you believe uh, EPS is going to be 181, 183, we're now 16 and a half times, so valuation side's getting stretched. Anyway, there's not a lot to do. Look at these daily bars. I mean, they're pathetic. Look at how tiny they are. So either wait, stand aside, or sell the stretch on the top side. Boone's made a very big move on Friday. That is very serious. Um, we'll have to see if this follow throughs. Looks like it might. Um, really on, 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 on no news, which is oftentimes uh, important, and we will get the news on why and what happened uh, in the coming days. But this, of course, could also just be mean reversion because it was so incredibly stretched up at 166.50 at minus 7, minus 10 basis points. That was just pure insanity. Um, we'll just have to see. The reason you watch Boone's uh, other than trading boons, is it's it's a pretty good driver um, for euro yen. So we we use boons to help us give direction on euro yen. Finally, crude also looks like it's turning. Uh, one of those classic top uh, choppy turns, shorts and longs get stopped. We went all the way up to 64. 65 on Friday, closed down 63, um, 63.80. Now we've made new lows here at 56. We've been down to 41. 34 was last week's low. Through that, would add fuel to the fire that this is turning. Um, but as is the case, oftentimes when you're turning at the top of a long range, you know, 42% bull move it's choppy right because the bulls are desperate to continue this the bears are trying to force a turn so you've got strong buying at the bottom strong selling at the top but you also get stops on both sides because of the people trying to you know because the bears are trying to make the turn and the bulls are trying to keep it higher so you get these big ranges where both short-term longs and shorts get stopped this is often the case um, when you see turns, and usually the safe point will be well lower. You know, like picking the exact high is often incredibly hard because of this. The acceleration in the safe sale will probably be through the 200 day down here at 61 and a quarter. Anyway, keep, keep your eye on this. Um, the correlation between oil and stocks is pretty high. So this will also give you a flavor for um, perhaps what's going to happen in the equity markets. The correlation with CAD is, is is much, much lower than people think recently, the last 30, 60 days. Um, so it's more of, a, more of a stock indicator. Anyway, as you can see, not much to say today. Um, I would just wish you an excellent day and some extra money on the table at the end of it. Good luck out there, people. I will talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.